this world war. World War One, they created a psychological warfare the tactic and where they just bombed the other side. Completely off they were bombing for days and days and days. There was no telling who would be bombing. affected by it or why. Left a lot of soldiers shook up. They left Those a lot of soldiers jacked up and they called it suicide. or electrocuted, rested or shot, all for the same illness. So many men were lost to it. There would be a revolution in military attitudes and a new field of medicine created. The condition was called shell shock. These are the men whose minds the dead have ravished. Memory fingers in their hair of murders. Multitudinous murders they once witnessed. State of shock. So I think it, it was a wonderful term because it described it quite perfectly. To the army's alarm, more and more cases of shell shock began to appear. After just six months of war, 15% of the British army was judged to be suffering from the condition. The most extreme cases were blind, deaf, mute or shaking, yet all without an apparent cause other than their proximity to bombardment. Similar cases appeared in the French and German armies on the Western Front. The shell shot are the symptoms of a mental purge. In this case, a deaf man responds only to the word bomb. Somehow the mind splits itself off from the body, that they're almost two distinct entities. And we see this after exposure to very traumatic and upsetting events. We know that some of the war psychiatrists talk about people going blind because they just can't bear seeing the carnage around them. The doctors at Netley began to classify the different symptoms. They gave their patients' conditions outlandish names. Hysterical dancing gait. Hysterical slippery ice gait. And battling with the wind. Treatment at this stage was basic. Massage bed rest and a milk diet. 